Wednesday at the BNP Paribas Masters sees the conclusion of the second round. 22 players fighting for a spot in the last 16. 18 of those men have won at least one ATP World Tour title this year. First up on centre court was 8th seed Andy Roddick, the Miami champion, holding the last qualification spot for the ATP World Tour Finals against Finnish qualifier Jarko Niemenen. The world number 39 has been on good form recently, winning 15 of 20 matches since the US Open. Despite losing the first set, still had some exhibition play in his locker. Oh, that was impressive. He enjoyed that one. But Roddick, desperate to qualify for the year-end event for the eighth consecutive season, continued his fine return from injury to go through in just over an hour. Oh, that's a lovely little pickup. Every match is big. I mean, I, I certainly feel like I'm in a good position where if I do my job, then... Uh, and I won't have to worry. I certainly don't want to leave it into someone else's hands and, and, and hope. Uh, you know, so I did my job today and I'll, I'll try to do it again tomorrow. Next up, defending champion Novak Djokovic making his first appearance since relinquishing his Basel title to Roger Federer. He saves seven break points in a determined display to repeat last year's results at the same stage, removing Argentine world number 24, Juan Monaco. Yep. And well, uh, the drop shot wasn't a great one. So he's reading the play very nicely for full court. Let's hope that uh, the result will be the same <laughs> last year. You know, it's going to be uh, difficult to, to repeat the success. Obviously, it's, uh, it's a big task. It's a title defense of uh, one of the thousand events, and uh, all the best players in the world are here. Uh, but uh, it started off well. Over on court one, Ivan Lubicic, the winner of the first Masters 1000 event of the year in Indian Wells, was broken once in each set by the Casablanca champion Stan Vavrinka. He levelled their head-to-head at three apiece. Yeah, the world number four and 2010 double Masters champion Andy Murray was next up on centre court against a man who had reached the final on his last two appearances here David Nalbandian. The world number 25 has missed much of the season to injury, but was victorious in Washington and coming off a quarter final appearance in Basel last week, started the match the stronger, taking the first set 6 2. Murray was far more successful on serve in the second set and he leveled the match by converting the one break opportunity created by the pair. The 23-year-old Scott, making his fifth straight appearance in Paris, needed some treatment on a wrist injury he picked up midway through the third set. But in just under two hours, he had avenged his quarter-final loss to Nalbandian here in 2008 and will next face Croat Marin Cilic, who he has played at three of the four Grand Slams. Beautifully done. Time is pushed to perfection. Winning 11 of the last 13 points to get the better of David Nalbandian in a match that promised much in the first set. The Argentine was absolutely outstanding. And Murray certainly finished the stronger of the two in the third. I think it'll be OK. I felt at the time after I saw the, the physio and he had a look at it that it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Um, you know, I'll just have to kind of monitor it the next few days and, and keep on top of it before London. Austrian Jürgen Meltzer having his best year on tour and the last man with any chance of dislodging those above him in the race for London kept his slender hopes alive by defeating Colombian qualifier Santiago Giraldo. He must win the tournament to stand any chance. But having qualified for London as a doubles player, he swears it's not something he's losing any sleep over. Well, I'm on my way, but I'm, to be honest, I'm not really thinking about London. I mean, so many things have to happen. I have to win the tournament. Andy Roddick has to probably go out next round or I don't know. I mean, it's been a great year for me. If I, if I kind of make it uh, as a substitute to, to London, it would be great 
to really play there to be top eight, it's, it's very far off. Marseille champion Mikhail Lodra continued his fine form at his home tournament, needing just an hour to avenge his first meeting loss to big John Isner last week in Basel. In reaching the last 16, he has doubled his previous tally of match wins in five tournament appearances combined. His reward is a potential Davis Cup tie warm-up with Novak Djokovic. Cover there from Lodra. Knows where to stand in the net position. 10th seed Nikolai Davidenko had little trouble in seeing off Brazilian Thomas Bellucci in their first meeting. The Russian has endured his tribulations since opening the season with a tournament win in Doha, but as a previous winner here in 2006, looks primed to go far. The action continues and only gets better into the night session here in Paris. The great Roger Federer takes on home favourite Richard Gasquet. All the action can be seen live on TennisTV.com.